Hey everyone, welcome back to Stereo Intellect. Today is an epic day for me because I get to unveil this majestic beast. Uh, it is a 58 reissue, custom shop, Gibson Custom Shop 58 reissue. And it's a dream guitar for me. I had an R8 years ago that I sold, that I loved, that I should not have sold. But I got this a couple months ago and I like it even better. Uh, it's just incredible. I wanted to use it in that last video so bad, uh, but I had to use that SG, uh, that inexpensive SG for sake of congruency with all those other divided by demos. So in case anybody wants to see that stuff. So also today is exciting because I'm using a real cabinet with the hundred. So I, I told you in that, that last video that I was going to hope to do that, even though it's pretty loud. So this one's going to be kind of quick. Uh, I don't, I don't want to make anybody mad. It's about 6 p.m. here in California, um, you know, and we still have light for like another hour. And it always seems like when the light goes down, that's when neighbors are like, hey, even though it, <laughs> it might be like, you know, 730, which isn't that late. But still, I want to be respectful of the neighbors. So it's going to be fast. We interrupt this previously scheduled intro to bring you mic placement. So there's the mics. And for a close up, that's where the mics are placed. The 57 is just off, it's, it's, it's a good amount off axis. And that 421, I tried to get pretty close to the center of the cone because I wanted to get a little nastier and brighter and angrier. Anyways, as you can see, I have the amp set up, pushing the treble and pushing the mids, taking away some bass. The master volume being right there. Um, man, I put this through the 212D in front of my face and I got a little scared to, to get over there because I just don't want to push them, push those greenbacks too hard. I know I could go to half power. I just, I don't, I don't want to mess with that. I just want to use the master volume and just stick to a safe volume. Pushing the gain pretty good. Before we jump into it, let's talk about what I'm using. I spoke to Fred over Divided by 13 and he has this nifty box that he let me borrow. This is what I borrowed for the open back versus close back video if you didn't see that. Uh, that's a fun one. So this is just a, uh, it's basically an ABC box. It's one in and three out so that when, when Fred is demoing different things, he can switch back and forth in real time and hear stuff. And he was nice enough to let me use this. So this is how I'm going back and forth between the aux and the cab. The cab is eight ohms. I've also set the aux to eight ohms. So it keeps the same load no matter where I switch. Okay, so we'll start out with the real cab. Here's the real cab. Obviously, one's a 412 in the aux and one's a 212. Back to the aux. fun in a track to do the aux on one side and the real cabinet on the other. Kind of like it right about here. Real cabinet. You hear kind of that whistle that gets accentuated. Kind of that whoosh 
in there. Real cat, uh, back to the ox. You don't hear that whoosh in there. That's kind of what tells me that's some of the phase. It's actually not phase. I checked it. It's not phase. And uh, it, it could be a speaker issue. I need to check the other speaker to see if that's what it is. But uh, it's it's not phase. I checked. Okay. I'll do some clean just to. Definitely have to cut some volume on the guitar. Get those clean cleans. How rad sounding is this guitar? So nice. That's okay. Well, I hope you'd enjoyed it. At least we got to do a real cabinet. Anyways, as always, please like and subscribe. I'm gonna keep pumping out videos. And let me know in the description below, what do you like better, you know? Um, do, do, do you prefer the aux? Uh, do you like something about the mic? Is there something about the microphones that's really appealing to you? Let me know what you think of the guitar. Uh, and let me know other subjects that you wanna know about. Let's dive into other stuff. I don't wanna just review amps. I'm gonna dive into pedals and, and different things, but please let me know in the questions below anything you'd like to talk about, all right? Have a wonderful day and make some rad music.